Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn different concepts in learner science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limit regarding compressed mean using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Alibaba interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, you are trying to find the mean number of items bought per order on Alibaba rounded to one decimal place. However, instead of doing analytics on all Alibaba orders, you have access to a summary table which describes how many items were in an order, item count and the number of orders that had that many items, order occurrences. So basically there is a table called items per order which has two columns, item count and order occurrences and this basically how to read this table is there are 500 orders where there was only one item in that order. There are 1000 orders where there were two items in that order and similarly, right? So that is what you have. And from this, you need to calculate the mean number of items bought per order, right? So how do you calculate the mean number of items bought per order? Firstly, you need to calculate the total number of items bought and then you divide by the total number of order, right? So how do you calculate the total number of items bought? You basically, what, what do you need to do is you just multiply this item count and order occurrences for each of these rows and sum it up, right? Because that is how many items you have bought, right? 500 orders with one item, 1000 orders with two items. So 500 multiplied by one plus 1000 multiplied by two, right? Then 800 multiplied by three plus 1000 multiplied by four. Right, so that is how you get the total number of items order and then how many total orders are there you just sum this column and if you divide those two numbers you are going to get the mean number of items bought per order right so what we can do is get those two values right so from this table called items per order the first thing that we need to do is total number of items right so total number of items can be uh, you just multiply so from this table called items per order return item count multiplied by order occurrences right order occurrences and you sum it up right so you multiply this multiply all these values and then you sum this entire thing right so you do this and this is going to be right so let's alias this as total items right total items now you need to calculate the total number of orders right so how do you calculate the total number of orders you basically sum the, the uh, order occurrences column so we write sum of order occurrences column and let's alias this as total orders right let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now here you have two columns, right? Total items, total orders. These are the total number of items that were ordered on Alibaba. These are the total number of orders on Alibaba, right? What we can do is we can save this in a common table expression. So with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And from this common table expression, what you need to do, you need to calculate the, the mean number of items per order, right? So return total items divided by total orders right now there is one problem with this what can you think of it and if you have watched the previous two videos before this you might be able to guess that okay so you remember in the past two questions that we did it was mentioned that to avoid and there we were calculating percentages so it was written to avoid integer division multiply it by 100 decimal zero not the number 100 so that is what is going to happen here right you have integer here integer here and if you divide it right so you are going to have an integer division basically you are going to neglect the decimal part but you are calculating mean right so mean usually has a decimal part so if you don't do that right let me go ahead and run this right wait let me alias this as like whatever is required in the output right as mean right now let me run this right so here you have mean is three right however if we see that okay let's see if it is dropping the decimal uh, values because of integer division. So if I just multiply it by 1.0, right, 
total items and then let me run this so now if you look at it right so it is actually dropping the decimal part and we don't want that right so that is why we need to multiply by 1.0 and we also need to round it to one decimal place so we write round this entire thing to one decimal place right and then alias this as mean let me run this now so now we have the mean let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was we calculated the total number of items ordered on alibaba and then total number of orders on alibaba but we kept in mind that because of integer division we might lose some of the data so we made sure that it is you know the data is not being lost to integer division and then we rounded it to one decimal places Okay, let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.